Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and um, I promise you that this is going to be a very quick update. Um, there's not much to show you um, in addition to what I've already shown you um, but as you can see I've just started to do the um, weathering on the new ballast. <laughs> the problem is I've got a brand new bottle of sleeper grime out and uh, filled the airbrush up, did that, went and turned around and knocked the bloody thing over. So that put pay to that, so I've now ordered some more, um, so that will hopefully be with me during the week. Um, so now I can carry on um, and doing the rest of the um, weathering. So what we've got is now, if I just recap, um, I've now got the track going all the way over the four tracks going all the way over the viaduct and I've been testing with different locos uh, before I finally decided to weather um, I've been testing with different locos um, I've got some here going around here um, and just really to see if there's any problems which there aren't thankfully um, and really the steamers are probably going to give me the issues if I'm going to have any um, so I've been concentrating on those but um, no, nothing there at all I've used the blue Pullman as well um, just so that I know that all the coach is clear especially um, sort of around here where it enters from the curve uh, sorry the curve onto the bridge so that it doesn't foul uh, things like the beginning of the walling just here. Again, no problems, it's all very clear. So I can now confidently weather all that track. And uh, once that's done, that's all the track done. And the bridge, which will then leave me next week to start the canal in earnest. Um, so that's really as far as I've got um, what I can do I'll just show you quickly um, what we've got here bear with me uh, 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 let's try that so we've got the crusty and um, we'll take that across you see how she runs on the let's put the sound on So it goes off in some distance, so you, you get the gist. We just turn the sound down now, and likewise, we've got the King George V. Would help if it went the right way. I mean, obviously, I know these two inner tracks work. So yeah, nice and slow, sound doesn't cut out, which is a good sign that um, there's no issues with any of the electrics on the track. 
Um, if I was getting the sound cutting in and out, then obviously there would be issues as regards the connectivity on the track, but no, nothing so far. So I can, apart from the weathering, as I said, I can now say to myself that the layout for the track is now complete and I can now start concentrating on the canal next week. Um, what I have done in the meantime, um, when it was horrible outside last week, I built myself a pub. And this is from Scale Model Scenery. Uh, first time I built an actual building kit from them. Um, and it was a very, very good kit uh, to build. Uh, extremely accurate. Um, slightly m different method again from any of the um, buildings I've built before from various manufacturers. This one is laser cut card where you have to then cut the brickwork um, and the roofing texture panels out and then wrap it around the uh, cardboard and then glue it all together of course. Um, so it's a slightly different method um, and uh, it's basically complete um, I'm not going to, it does include an outhouse and walling etc which I'm not doing at the moment until I know the final resting position for the pub um, so I've called it the ferry boat in um, which is a name my wife come up with and uh, we were sitting there trying to think of different names for the pub and we have a ferry boat in um, not far away from us, probably about 15 minutes drive from us um, and um, it's a nice pub and so we thought right okay while it's by the canal on the lake the ferry boat inn seemed an ideal name. What I have done in addition um, it comes with a porch roof um, but I just thought it looked uh, missing a bit um, and so I've added a support for the roof with two wooden trusses um, coming down just here and going on to some brick plinths with a concrete lintel across the top um, and I just thought that, that added a little bit of interest to it rather than just having it supported from the wall. Um, there's a few other bits and pieces I have done uh, I've now added the chimney pots on the top, so that's complete. Uh, the rear is quite plain um, at the moment because I haven't done much to it. But what I have done is um, made the kitchen area here, which they supply a blanked out window, and the vent for the uh, steam etc. from the kitchen. So that's basically done. But this is probably the face which I will have showing on the layout. Um, but I need to position that accurately once I get underway with the route of the canal. So that really is about it. Um, I don't think there's much else to show you. Um, you've all seen the lake now, so that's really how it's looking. But all the ballasting is done now, so I can just go ahead and weather. And it's all looking good. I'm very, very pleased. And um, I can't wait for me to start building the uh, and routing the canal because just there is where the important bit is going to go, which is the lock gates, which will be operating. <coughs> so I shall need to. Um, build those in a temporary fashion to begin with just to see how it all works and then I can build it properly and I may just may decide to start this end because it's the less complicated end so if I can get this end complete first along with this area I can build this up um, and I've got plans for that area now too um, and then I can just have the canal coming across and disappearing 
into the undergrowth through a tunnel. Uh, I'm trying to anticipate your questions and suggestions and I can't think of any at the moment um, but I'm sure there will be please write them down below if you do think of anything um, uh, to be honest with you I have got a lot of it um, sussed out in my head how I want to do it uh, one person did suggest something quite neat it won't work but it was a good idea and that was to have a mirror behind here um, in that space behind uh, so that it would reflect what's what's actually here um, which sounds good but um, the problem is of course the mirror will show the back of each pillar which will kind of give it away but um, had it not been for those pillars then the mirror would have been a very good effect but I, I do have plans for that anyway um, so I've just got to get my backside into gear and do it to be honest with you but as you can imagine this is quite a big build what I intend to do here so I've got to take it easy and uh, just do it gradually okay so a very very quick update for you but it's all working that's the main thing so I can now run trains hurrah okay people that's about it for now so have a hope you've had a good weekend and um, I'll speak to you again either during the week or the weekend. Okay, so bye for now. Bye bye.